cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin from Big Cat Rescue. <laughs> hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin from Big Four Wheeler Rescue. Today, what we're gonna do, you know what angers me and my volunteers is abused four wheelers and they're put in cages and not allowed to roam free. Today, I'm gonna let this four wheeler roam free, buddy. So we're gonna four wheeler freestyle. Come on with bent the handlebars a little much there. Yeah. Keep going. Piece of plastic there. Whoa. We got it, we got it. Get him. Ride him up. Keep her going. Downshift. People think they're so tough on there. A lot of people like to have those can ams, mm. that Polaris. Is. People on Hondas actually like use it as a four wheeler. That's why I have this because it hasn't broken. You saw all that crap. I do that a hundred times over a day and it wouldn't break. Polaris is garbage. They'll get those can ams and put tracks and paddy tires on them and stuff. They don't do half the stuff this does. Like, no, don't. Come on, dude. Here. People need to call you. It's like, no, look, no, one's, no one's gonna call you. Watch but, this. Here. Don't. What the? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, on <laughs> baseball! No, just, no. Do that with an iPhone. No. <laughs> Do that with your iPhone. Though. Yes, I can. Do it then. I choose not to. <laughs> it doesn't work, does it? No, your battery fell out of No, it's the back cover. Is it on? Yeah. Snaps back on. No doesn't cover. Have a screen cover or anything. Nothing. No cover at all. No yeah, protective that's cover. Your screen is made out of plastic. It's bulletproof. <laughs> right here. See up in there, dandy yonder. What's that? There's an old, uh, you know, there's an output shaft up in there. That should not so be. So hop in there and fire up, and we'll we'll go under here and show what's going on. Put her in drive and just uh, do a boosted launch. We can't go anywhere. Alright. Oh, you just. Hit we me. tried. We tried doing a burnout. I did the first one fine. Don't fire it up yet. I did the first one fine. Pavement was rough as heck. And, Chip and seal. Um, I tried gripping with four brand new dually tires.
snapped the out. Okay, you fired up. We snapped the, the out. Keys? I gave them to They're you. They're over there on the barrel. I gave them to you. We 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 snapped. I gave them to I you. Literally set them right here. Cut. Where are they at? Oh, is it in your pocket? Oh, they are in my you pocket. We had it all put together. Don't look under here. We weren't done painting. We got to take this out. We got a new one-piece drive shaft. It was almost all done. Um, Don't hang on that. Well, that looks not very well put together. We were almost done. Um, and then, you know, that happened. This was freshly powder coated like a day ago. It was. You know, it's don't look. I didn't get a chance to do a proper reveal, but long story short. This is going to be pulled out, and this gets a receiver that's like this big. So there's going to be a massive shaft and different splines. Boy. Um, it's a piece of metal that's, well, it's like this, and it's 1100 bucks. so they're throwing that in there. I know what this looks like. It looks like me wearing a shirt with my own brand on it, trying to get you all to buy it, and I can assure you that that's exactly not what this is. Yeah! They're on Inchain Designs for a test run. They're not on Wisdom Diesel Store for now. We're going to start our new, own new website after this, which is doing a test run. So these will be, probably be on there for maybe a couple weeks. What you're about to see today is gonna make you so disgusted because this is the most horrendous piece of garbage this world has ever seen. A Generac electric start. It's called, called a pressure washer. I'm not a person to leave a bad review on anything unless like I really have to. I hate, I hate just like telling people, you know, your entire company's I don't just sling around bad reviews, and if there's something bad, I assume it's just because it was like a once in a lifetime thing, you know? This right here is the demon child of pressure washers. Uh, you don't ever want to buy this. Look, I'm sorry guys, but this thing is a piece of crap. So I got the electric start one, you know, I paid an extra 120 bucks or whatever for that. <laughs> Supposed to yeah, it was not supposed to do that. <laughs> That's the first time it's ever started. <laughs> so this button seizes up. I come out here the next day to pressure wash. This button's all seized up, won't even move. I can't start it that way, so I, I gotta pull it. The thing starts, and I hold the switch down, and it won't shut off. So there's no way to shut the thing off. I'm gonna lift this up, and this comes up all the time. I don't know. It's a dinky why piece did they, of garbage. Why did they think that was a good idea? Like, uh, yeah, a nice little plastic and pot metal connection there. Well, let's see. Let's go in from this angle here. Looks like that's all the farther the nozzle. Look. Oh my God. Look, that's doing? the farthest she goes there. I got gas all over my injuries. Oh, well, it's full already. So they put this thing right above the gas nozzle. So you can't get anything in there. Instead of pulling it like this with a handle up here, they want it down here. So, you know, it stays like this. The wheels never rotate. It just stays like that. So it does this the whole way while you're pulling it. You can't keep it straight, no matter how hard you try. That's... Look, I'm just, I want to pull it down here. 50 gallons of gas here. We got a 12 volt transfer pump wired up. Now Clayton usually makes maple syrup with this, but he let us use it and run gas through it. We're gonna burn that little washing machine downrange there. That yeah, looks like milk.
Oh yeah, it's, it's pretty hot. Yeah, it's like hot tub. Well, self I think we save that for uh, any time we need to torch something. We should cover all brawl the power washer. <laughs> While it's spraying gas. <laughs> Flamethrower fight Wednesdays. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> that brings back some memories. Um, okay, so I'm seeing one problem here. What? Here in about <clears throat> two weeks, Monster Max is gonna be all done. All done. 100% completely done. No more half reveal videos, no more like testing videos. It's done. Like, Monster Max is done. This gate is only. I have seen pictures. This gate is only 14 feet wide. It ain't gonna fit through the gate. There's, yeah, no, it won't. Like, yeah, I can't give away too much information, but the things that are on it, yeah, it, it's not gonna fit. Okay, even with stock wheels, it's struggle to fit. But it, it's not gonna fit through this gate. It's not gonna fit through the gate down there. And all this is gonna be planted too. We got like seven acres here, but you know, that's, that's enough to fit, like, that's Too enough for the truck to turn around in. <laughs> that's not enough for us to get up to like six mile an hour. So, that's a bit of a problem. Yeah. So, I think there may be a lot of videos that are filmed at like off road parks and stuff. Because if we just can't fit it out here, and even if we did, what is there out here that's going to even like live in the it's gonna woods? It's going to challenge it. We could drive over the woods, but other than, like, there's literally nothing here. Um, it's it's the biggest thing you've ever seen in your life. It's it's absolutely phenomenally gigantic. That's what she said. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. But we're gonna work on that. Maybe we widen some gates. But then there's gonna be crops here, so we'll figure something out. But we got the tow rig, which is also broken. Darn it. Everything will be ready in three weeks. So three weeks, you can expect some sort of a Monster Max reveal. And then it's on its way to Daytona truck meet. No, we'll be at Daytona and we are putting on a tug of war with Monster Max uh, and then also at UCC, but that's in July now. I'll see you all at Daytona truck meet. And uh... Screw an outro. What even is an outro?